Hello and welcome to Robinson World. Did you upgrade your internet to high speed fiber connection? If so, you may have an old Wi-Fi router lying in your cupboard. You may be thinking what to do with this old one. You can use this old router to increase the Wi-Fi coverage in your house or office. In this video, we will see how to use your old router as a repeater to extend Wi-Fi coverage. If you didn't subscribe this channel please uh, click the subscribe button followed by clicking the bell icon and select all options from the list newly uploaded videos will be notified by you without searching it also please like and share this video after watching this video full I am having a D-Link router DIR 600M model number at the back of the router there is a yellow van port where we use to connect the cable from internet provider Next to that port there are four LAN ports. In between the antenna and power socket there is a small hole which is for resetting the router to the factory settings. Please check your router and find the reset button. First thing first power on the router and insert a pin or something inside the reset hole and press and hold it for 5 to 10 seconds. After that release the pin and you will see all the lights in front of the router will on once and then off. Now connect a network cable to any of the four LAN ports, preferably port 1 and the other end to the network port of your PC or laptop. If you already configured a static IP in your network port, please remove that. Open your internet browser and enter the following IP address 192.168. 0.1. Please refer to your router manual to get the default IP address of your router. It will redirect to router configuration page. In your case, it may ask username and password. Normally, default username is admin and password is admin or sometimes it is blank. Change the SSID to your existing SSID and enter the Wi-Fi password. Select the wireless tab from the menu. Click wireless repeater on the left. Check the repeater enabled option box and enter the existing SSID. Click site survey button. You will be notified to disable DHCP if it is already enabled. You can see a list of available Wi-Fi connections. Choose your Wi-Fi wi SSID and uh, click Next. Enter the Wi-Fi password of your existing Wi-Fi and click Next. Here you better have to change the IP address and subnet mask in the same range of your existing Wi-Fi. After that, click on the new IP address in this page to go back to the configuration page of old router. Here you can see that repeater status is connected. Now connect your devices to the Wi-Fi and enter the password. You can test by browsing the net. This is how we connect our old router as a repeater to increase the Wi-Fi coverage without physically connecting through a network cable. Hope you like this short video. Thank you.